you can just start with clear audio, just take us through those last few laps, what it was like from you from atop the box, and especially knowing that you were battling with your teammate as well. Yeah, it was, uh, it was very nerve wracking to say the least. We, uh, we kind of had a good lead there with uh, about 15 to go and a caution came out and, you know, every time a caution comes out, anything can happen. And especially battling with Tyler, he's so good. He's been good all day. Uh, he went to the back for a little bit, but came back up to the front. So um, those last couple of restarts, um, just nerve wracking, just anything can happen. And, um, you know, I, I, we believed in Austin and, you know, he did such a good job every, you know, the, the previous one. So just kind of hold your breath moment. And, um, but, you know, we got through, Austin did a heck of a job and uh, can't say enough about everyone on this team. All right, we're gonna start with questions for Justin. If you have one, please raise your hand. Friendly reminder, you may raise it within the Zoom platform or you may send us a chat as well. And who would like to kick us off with questions? Okay, we are gonna start with Steven Toronto with 24 seven sports, go ahead. Uh, Justin, first off, I, I want to, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I wasn't quite forget. Joey Logano uh, just a bit ago told us that the tire that was used today was, uh, he, sa he said that the tire wore, but the car never slowed down, and really the only things that affected were uh, the heat and balance and certain other things like that. Uh, did you notice those characteristics throughout the day? And if so, how did that influence your strategy on the final pit stop? Yeah, I think he's absolutely right about that. We, uh, you know, if you watch lap times, we really never fell off any. We, we actually, sometimes it would even get a little faster toward the end of runs. So um, that definitely played into our strategy. And it, definitely what he said was, you know, really you're just fighting a, a, a tire. The tires did wear and um, left side wear was a little bit of an issue, but we, um, so we had, to, we had to deal with that and, and obviously balance. And when you take lefts versus rights, it, it changes the balance of the car. So. Definitely we fought that all day along with everyone else. And, you know, I think at the end, it was more of a, you know, with, with when we came down there to pit, I, you know, it made sense to me to take two um, or even none because really tires, usually you would fire off slower on four tires. So for us, we had been firing off really good all day on two. Uh, so we took lefts and our car was a little bit tight at the time. So lefts, you know, freed us up, uh, which, which definitely, you know, helped uh, the handling of the car and, and let Austin do what he needed to do. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take our next question from Jordan Bianchi with The Athletic. Jordan, go ahead. Uh, Justin, I have two questions for you. One, would you consider today's win an upset? Uh, an upset? No. Um, I think we um, – I mean, it, it depends on what in, – in what, in what vague, you know, what terms you're talking about an upset, you know. The last time we were in victory lane with Austin was in uh, 2018. So it's been a while since we've been in victory lane. And, you know, I think some people don't give Austin enough credit. Um, they don't think, you know, he may not be good enough to win races. Uh, they don't give this team enough credit. So from that perspective, I do think we're a little bit of an underdog to some of these other teams and these bigger teams. Um, so in that respect, I would say that, um, that, yeah, I mean, maybe it is a little bit upset. But, you know, we didn't back into this win. Um, we, we didn't we didn't fluke in. It wasn't a fuel mileage deal. We, we went up there, we drove up to the front, we raced them at the end. So um, the car had, you know, every bit of speed we needed to win this race. And our cars have been, have had a lot of speed all year. You know, it just really just about execution. And we kind of, you know, we did put it all together today. And the follow-up question is, did, did the fact that you guys need kind of needed a win to get in the playoffs, or it looked like you guys might need to win to get in the playoffs, did that affect your strategy calls at the end of the race? Uh, no. I would have made those calls uh, regardless of what, what we, whatever we needed. Like I said, four tires for us actually fired off slower uh, than two tires. So for, for me, it was a no brainer. Two tires, two left side tires freed our car up, which is what we needed at the time. Uh, so to me, it was, a, it, was a, it was a really easy call. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna take our next question from Dustin Long. Dustin, go ahead with your question. Thanks, Justin. Uh, I'm curious, uh, how, how often have you been in the shop or have you been able to get in the shop at all during this period? And also, uh, you know, Joey Logano was mentioned, he thought it was, it was more challenging when you're, you're down because you don't have all this time at the shop to, to massage on the cars. You don't have the practice time. I'm curious how you've seen, you know, and how you've handled this in the sense of if you're off or if you've got something, how you maintain that or how you build upon that in, in these crazy times. Yeah, it's, uh, it's certainly different uh, times we live in today and, 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 and that changes what we do. And 
we do get to the shops. Um, our road crews, we do go in at nights uh, after everyone's gone. Uh, the place is uh, cleaned and, and we go in for a few hours, um, a couple times a week. And so I do get to look at the cars, massage on the cars and, and kind of get them, you know, kind of final them. Uh, the guys at the shop do a wonderful job of, of prepping the cars um, for the most part. And we just kind of go in there and fine tune on them. So it's been different. It's, I, I think it's been good for us, this schedule, uh, not having practice. Uh, you know, I don't mind it at all. I think we've been, uh, we've we've unloaded fairly well most races and the races we haven't we've able to just adjust and get the car where we needed it so with all the tools we have and all the resources we have at rcr you know i, I do feel like uh, this this um the way we're running right now does does benefit us a little bit and you mentioned obviously you guys were slower with four tires than two tires i mean was it something that it, is it was it just became evident from the start or early in the first stage that you kind of figured like hey we get in position later in the race we're definitely going to how do, how do you go through the learning process as a crew chief in a race when you don't have all the practice notes to kind of go over a weekend? Well, I think we use, we use history. Uh, you know, we look at what happened here last fall uh, and some of the things that happened. And, and it was kind of similar last fall here, even with a, a little bit different tire. Um, definitely, it, just for us, I mean, we, when we would put four on, we put four on a handful of times today. And it took a while. It took 20 laps for the car to come in for us. And it may not have been like that for everyone, but definitely our, uh, our car. Um, we did do two multiple times today. So we knew how it was going to fire off. We knew what the handling was going to be with it. So it was just, um, you know, for us, it was just a, it was kind of a no brainer. Thank you. Okay. We're going to take our next question from Bob Pockers. Bob, go ahead. Yeah, Justin, when you made that call, did you think you'd be able to survive three or four restarts? Or were you thinking, man, if there's two or three restarts, we're, we're going to be toast? <laughs> well, you never know, Bob. It's, um, you know, I really didn't know. I really thought more guys would do two. I was surprised that only uh, one other guy did two. And, and I think Tyler did fuel only. So, and the rest did four. So I was honestly expecting not to be on, on the front row for that first restart. Um, I was shocked when I saw other guys doing what they did. And, um, you know, but, you know, sometimes four tires work for other guys more better than two. So, you know, those guys made those calls, uh, which was best for their cars. But definitely it's tough to survive one restart, yet, let alone three. Um, and Austin did a fantastic job getting out, getting going through the gears good and, and, and clearing the guys through one. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take our next question from Jim Utter. Jim, go ahead. Well, it's Justin. Um, when this aero package debuted, you guys had speed from the get-go, but you had difficulty translating it on, in, uh, to race day. When this season started, you seem to have made a lot of progress in that area. And I was just wondering uh, if you felt that the break and the protocols since had impeded your progress at all, um, or do you think you could have even been better at this point? Um, that's hard to say. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's um, definitely the new body this year has, has really helped us out. And, I, you know, I can't say that the break in the protocol has helped or hurt us, really. I mean, you know, some teams, every team's kind of working uh, a little bit differently. And, and some guys are, you know, everyone's, everyone's trying to make their cars better. And um, it, we definitely took off uh, really well to start. And uh, we've, we've, really, we've really been fast a lot of weeks, honestly. We haven't had finishes to show for it. We've had some incidents that have happened and, and some other things, but um, I really feel like we've had all the speed we need in these race cars since, since um, you know, Daytona this year. And uh, I really don't think we've gotten any worse relative to the competition, to be honest. Um, we just kind of put it all together today. And uh, Austin is a guy who kind of always is looking to, wants to prove himself. Uh, how much do you think this win will help just his overall confidence and his momentum? He talked about, I'm not liking the fact that he wasn't in the all-star race and uh, just his, what he'll take from this personally, do you think? Oh, I think, it, I think it's a huge boost of confidence uh, to anybody, not, not only the driver, but to this team, everyone in this organization. Um, it just shows you're capable of winning and you have what it takes to win, you know, versus all these other uh, teams that, uh, and, um, but, but definitely, especially, you know, there's all those restarts and, and knowing we have speed in the race cars, uh, it certainly just gives you that, you know, especially Austin, um, it's going to give him a lot of confidence going forward. And, uh, you know, now that we're, we're not too far away from the chase, it's, you know, it's not bad to be on a kind of a, a little bit up, upward momentum streak right now. So, um, 
it's good. It's good for the whole team. It takes a little pressure off of us trying to race our way in on points, and, and sometimes that can get you a little stirred up. But uh, so now we can go out and just kind of, you know, uh, focus on uh, what we got to do to improve our team and improve the execution throughout the weekend and uh, be ready for the chase. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a question from Bozzy. Bozzy, go ahead. Hi, Justin. Um, RCR has been fairly forward thinking as far as embracing technology. And uh, one recent example is uh, the uh, Robert Downey Jr. documentary about artificial intelligence and uh, the pit row product you guys used from row AI. Yep. Uh, and I know that um, Andy Petrie has always kind of been forward thinking, trying out new things, and you guys have kind of embraced that, at least while sharing the documentary. And uh, the example in that video was a race at Richmond where Pitt Rowe was uh, recommending certain strategies and it looked like uh, the team followed a couple of things but kind of diverged from the strategy at the end. Um, compared to that example today and just in general this year, uh, how are you interacting with these products, uh, your strategy, how does it work with Pitt Rowe and just uh, as far as artificial intelligence in general, how does that help you and what have you learned from it? Um, yeah, we, it's, it's, uh, it's a tool that we definitely use every race day. Uh, we actually use it throughout the week in, in some instances. Uh, but certainly on race days, it's, uh, you know, anytime um, in technology is, is, is really uh, kind of gone crazy um, in the last few years. And the things that we can do now and, and prediction, prediction models and you know, a lot of this stuff is statistics and uh, statistics based. So I uh, can't thank, you know, Pit Row and, and their product enough. Uh, certainly we use it, uh, like I said, on a, on a weekly basis. Um, it does help us. It helps me. Uh, helps me call races. Uh, and um, certainly uh, we definitely used it today. Thank you. All right, Justin, that appears to be all the questions we have for you this time. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very mm -hmm. much. <clears throat> all right.